Harry here, and this week we are going to consider schools and identities. As we've been thinking about the shape of our stories and where our identities come from, we spend a lot of time in schools, and that is a place of enculturation. It has also, in history, been tools of racial violence. You can see the graves being um, absumed, subsumed, sorry, um, dug up, exhumed, that's the word I'm looking for, in Canada now um really sad stories at the um first schools of the first nations and native americans um you had it you know down south uh you had it up north you had it everywhere schools have always been used as kind of a tool of power but they can also be tools of empowerment where we can you know have students express agency through the way that they use words so what kind of moral society do we want? One where our schools are used as tools of power or as tools of empowerment? Yeah. That's something that we have to think about. And how do we make that happen? So this week we have three readings. Um, the first being It's Complicated, The Social Lives of Network Teens. Now, you only have two chapters to read. It's an entire book. And it is based on um, MySpace, a much older social network. But really, it still kind of works the same way as TikTok and Snap. So the practices of network teens are very similar. Um, and that's what I want to focus in on. Then we're going to read about D Donna Alberman's reading adolescence and reading identities. Are you, do you consider yourself a reader, a writer? Why? When was that decision made? When did you decide you are or are not a reader? When did you decide you are or are not a writer? Finally, we are going to read John Dewey's chapter one, the school um, and social practice, progress, sorry. And thinking about what does it mean if we look at schools as a way and tool for advancing democracy and democratic ideals. Your task as you read is to look for identity to, uh, and identify the key vocabulary and concepts about identity and knowledge in schools. That's why what I want to focus in on is how do schools help us project our identities and what identities do schools project back on us. Then for your right task, you have to have, thinking about the idea of yourself. Did you have a good identity as a learner? Or you could do a creative uh, fiction story and tell a story about two people with one person who has a positive view of learning in school and one who does not. Kind of explore their backstory. With this kind of writing, if it's too um, personal and you don't want to share it with the entire class, you don't need to publish it on your wikis. And I'm actually going to change this right here. We're not going to do the websites quite yet. And put your personal wiki there. So you don't have to write on your personal wiki if you want to stay private on this topic. It is, you know, I'm asking you to share some vulnerabilities. However, if you are okay with sharing those memories, you, uh, you are encouraged to go post on your personal websites. And I want you to actually read each other's work and start commenting on them. I haven't made that an assignment yet, um, but I can in the future um, if I don't see it just happening organically. I'm hoping that we start to look at each other's writings as writers and ways that we can not just learn about our, stu our fellow students, but also improve each other in a community of writers. So that is your read task. And then your participate task, that's going to be working on your personal wiki and which will become a website towards the end of the semester. And so, so that's just, we've already kind of started that. You're, you're setting up your blogs and your reflection pages. So keep that going. The timeline, we'll be making a timeline using uh, spreadsheets and you will have another video going through a tutorial on how to do that coming out tomorrow.